Hello and welcome to Light Bearers. So today we will determine the moment of this slab, given that our load is 10 kN per meter. So first of all, let's draw the collapse mechanism of the slab. The angle here is theta A for panel A. And the angle here is theta B for panel B. Here is taken as delta. And here is also taken as delta. The angle here is theta D. And the angle here is theta C. Here remains delta. Now, tan theta equals theta. So theta A equals delta all over 2. We are delta is 1, so we have 1 all over 2. Since panel A and panel B are symmetrical, theta A equals theta B. Now let's find theta C. Theta C equals delta all over 1.5. Delta remains 1, so we have 1 all over 1.5. Now let's take panel A and calculate for the unknown parameters. First of all, let's find the area of panel A. The area of a triangle is half base times height. So we have half multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2, which gives us 3 meters squared. Now let's find the center of gravity for panel A. Since panel A is a triangle, the center of gravity for a triangle is delta all over 3. Delta remains 1, so we have 1 all over 3. Now let's find the external work done for panel A. External work done equals area multiplied by load multiplied by center of gravity. So we have three multiplied by 10 multiplied by one all over three. So the external work done for panel A is 10 kN meter. So let's find internal work done. Internal work done equals Moment multiplied by length multiplied by theta. Moment is not given. 
So we have m multiplied by the length, which is 3, multiplied by theta a, which is 1 all over 2. So we have 3m divided by 2, which gives us 1.5m. So let's take panel C and calculate for the unknown parameters. But then before that, panel A and panel B are symmetrical. So external work done for panel A equals external work done for panel B. And internal work done for panel A equals internal work done for panel B. So we call here C1, we take this other section as C2, and this third section as C3. Now note, C1 and C3 are symmetrical. So the area for C1 equals half base times height, since it is a triangle. So we have half multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1.5, which gives us 1.5 meter squared. And then the area for C2 is base times height since it is a rectangle so we have 4 multiplied by 1.5 which gives us 6 meters squared now let's find the center of gravity for c1 c2 and c3 C1 is a triangle, so the center of gravity is delta all over 3, which is 1 all over 3. Since C1 and C3 are symmetrical, they have the same center of gravity. So the center of gravity for C2 equals delta all over 2. So we have 1 all over 2. Now let's find external work done. External work done is area multiplied by load multiplied by center of gravity. So for C1, external work done is giving us 1.5 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 1 all over 3. which gives us five kilonewton meter. So external work done for C2 
equals 6 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 1 all over 2, which gives us 30 kilonewton meter. Since C1 and C3 are symmetrical, external work done for C1 equals external work done for C3. So now let's sum up the external work done for panel C. So we have C1 plus C2 plus C3, which is 5 plus 30 plus 5, which gives us 40 kilonewton meter. Since panel C and panel D are symmetrical, external work done for panel C equals external work done for panel D. Now let's find internal work done. Internal work done equals moment multiplied by length multiplied by theta. So for C1, internal work done is M multiplied by 2 multiply by theta c, which is 1 all over 1.5. So we have 2m divided by 1.5, which gives us 1.33m. Since C1 and C3 are symmetrical, internal work done for C1 equals internal work done for C3. So then, internal work done for C2 equals m multiplied by 4 multiplied by 1 all over 1.5 so we have 4m all over 1.5 which gives us 2.67 m So summation of internal work done for panel C equals C1 plus C2 plus C3. So we have 1.33 M plus 2.67 M plus 1.33 M. which gives us 5.33 M. Since panel C and panel D are symmetrical, external work done for panel D equals 40 kilonewton meter. And internal work done for panel D equals 5.33 M.
So now let's sum up all the external work done for this slab. We have summation of external work done. Equals external work done for panel A plus external work done for panel B plus external work done for panel C plus external work done for panel D. We have 10 plus 10 plus 40 plus 40. So we have 100 kilo newton meter. So now let's sum up all the internal work done for this slab. Summation of internal work done equals internal work done for panel A plus internal work done for panel B plus internal work done for panel C plus internal work done for panel D. We have 1.5 M plus 1.5 M plus 5.33 M plus 5.33 M. So we have Summation of internal work done to be 13.66 M. So now let's apply the principle of virtual work, which states that summation of external work done equals summation of internal work done. So we have 100 equals 13.66 m so let's make m the subject formula we have m equals 100 divided by 13.66 which gives us 7.32 kilonewton meter